we started thinking about mirrors, we started with flat mirrors, and then we went to curved mirrors. And this time, again, I started with a block, just flat surfaces of acrylic. Now I've got a block with curved surfaces of acrylic. And this forms a lens. So this is a convex lens, because it's outward on both sides. Concave would be in on both sides. So a convex lens like this, if you send light straight through the center of it, it doesn't bend the light at all. But if you come off to the side, so if I go up to the top, it bends the light down. If I go to the bottom, it bends the light up. So just like for the concave mirror, it focuses the light down to a point. So this is the focal point of this lens. So we can mark that spot. F. So when the lens is here, the focal point F is here. Interesting thing about a lens, it doesn't just have one focal point. If I take the laser, put it on the other side, line it up horizontally, it creates another focal point over here. So there's another focal point right there. Another important point, I've marked the top and bottom here. So right between those, that's the midpoint M. So all of those points, the F's on both sides and the M in the center, those are all going to be important for making ray diagrams. So now we're going to look at a ray diagram and forming an image with a lens. It works exactly the same way as it did with the mirror. Same basic ideas. So we've got, again, there are multiple different paths that the light takes. It travels in every direction out from the object to get through the lens. But we only need to find two of the three principal rays to choose from to find out where the image is. So if you come in parallel, then just the same way as with the mirror. This time when you get to the midpoint of the lens instead of the surface of the mirror. So when you get to the midpoint of the lens, any light that came in parallel gets focused down to the focal point. So we draw it that way. So the light comes into the lens, goes through the focal point, and out you know, however far you need to go. And if you remember, the light that went straight through the center of the lens didn't get turned at all. So the light that passes through the middle just goes straight through. So you can just draw a straight line through, and those two are enough by themselves to get you to this image. Again, sometimes those aren't the easiest ones to draw. In some cases, there's a third line. So the focal ray on this side, if you pass through the focal point on this side, then it will come out going parallel to the, uh, the principal axis. And that we saw when I reversed the, the lasers to come the other direction through the lens. When they came in parallel, they went up to a focal point on this side. So with the lens, you can use a focal point on either side of the lens and the midpoint. Midpoint's usually the easiest one. You just draw it straight through the focal and parallel or parallel and through the focal. So the characteristics of this image, same ideas with the mirror. We've got real or virtual, right? That's usually the hardest one. Does the light really go to that place? Well, this time with the mirror, if the image was on the opposite side of the mirror, the real light reflected and went away. So these were virtual images. This time, in a lens, the light goes through the lens. So if the light goes through the lens and then forms an image, the light's really here. If you end up with an image back here on the same side of the lens as the object, that's going to be a virtual image. So this one is real. And is it inverted or upright? Well, obviously this house is inverted. So this one's inverted, it's real, and then the other thing, magnification. Is it enlarged, reduced, or true? And in this case, that looks to me like it's enlarged. 